Hi there, my name is Ferdy Korpshoek for WordPress King. And in this video, I will show you how to create a backup of this website and restore it without going to the FTP and the PHP My Admin. In order to do that, go to the backend, go to plugins, add a new one, and we want to search for WP all in one migration. It's in a different order all in one WP migration. You see a lot of installs, so it's a really good plugin. I install it now and I activate it. As soon as it's activated, you will see over here at the left, all in one WP migration. I go to export because I want to make a backup of this website and I want to export it to a file. So I click on file and it will prepare so I can save it to my computer. You see, lot of files and now I can download the whole website it's inclusive all the FTP files and the database so I click over here it's now downloading it takes a minute now I can close this and if I go to media I can do a bulk select and I select the first one I scroll down and I select the latest one and I hold shift so I've selected everything and I say delete selected. I say okay. And there is no media anymore. I go to the posts, select them all. And bulk action is move to trash, apply. And then I go to the trash. And I say empty the trash. So if I go to my website in the new tab over here. I see no more images. And if I go to blog. There are no more blog posts. If I go to a project, you see no more pictures. So my website is a mess. And I can even delete all the pages over here. Select them all. Move them to trash. Go to the trash and empty the trash. So no more images, no more blog posts, no more pages. I go to the home page. And this is what I get. How can I restore this? You can do it in two ways. I go to all-in-one WP migration. I can import it with the file I just saved. So I select file. I go to downloads and here it is. Or it could be stored on your server. I go to backups and I can bring this back. Right now I do it on the website. So I say restore. I overwrite everything. So I say continue. And now I have to save the permalink structure twice. So I close this. So I go to settings, permalinks, and I save it twice. First time it's saved and the second time. And now I go to the website and it's completely restored again. I go to the back end and maybe your whole website is gone somehow. So everything is restored. Here we have our sample post. If I go to the website, it's looking like this. Then I can go to plugins, add a new one, all in one WP migration. I install it, activate it. I go over here to import. I select a file, over here it is, I upload it, and this will take a few minutes. So the backup is restored, I continue. So the backup is uploaded, I will continue. I close this, I need to go to settings, permalinks, and I have to save it twice first time and the second time I go to the website now it's fully restored so I go to a different page and everything is working perfectly if you want to learn by the way how to create a website like this you can follow a tutorial about it I've made it and you can watch it over here thank you for watching this tutorial and I will see you next time bye bye